Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Gauri Prasid. मेरी कॉफी नॉर्मल हो गई है मैं पिछले पंद्रह मिनट से सिर्फ बैठ के सेटिंग कर रही हूँ कौन सी लाइटिंग अच्छी लग रही है कौन सी नहीं लग रही है मैं ये भी नहीं खोल सकती पता है विंडो भी नहीं खोल सकती क्योंकि विंडो खोला ना देन बहुत आवाज आने लग जाती है एंड मैं जो भी बोल रही हूँ वो कट हो जाएगा एंड वो बहुत अनोइंग है ऑनेस्टली आई हैव बिन डूइंग दिस फॉर द पास्ट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स नाउ एंड आई के नॉट बेर विद दिस फॉर अ सिंगल मोर मिनट एंड आई जस्ट लाइक फॉक इट जो लाइटिंग है एनी वे सो एज यू कैन सी आई स्ट्रीट इन माई हेयर and i got all dressed up for this video i actually did not get very dressed up i kind of put a little bit of you know the thing whatever it's called and this lipstick so yeah also i wanted to tell you a little about this lipstick it's so great honestly this lipstick is from mama earth so i am wearing the o2 rosy nude i genuinely love their products they're natural and free of all harmful chemicals this lipstick is also dermatologically tested also the best part about mama earth is that it's a plastic positive brand and it's also an indian brand i was actually shocked when like i came to know they're an indian brand because i genuinely love mama earth so much so this lipstick contains contains vitamin c and vitamin e now i'm going to tell you about the best part of this lipstick this is a 12 hour long stay and it's smudge proof i know that you did not believe me when i said smudge proof i'll literally show it to you so as you can see it's literally smudge proof the 12 hour long stay and it's actually smudge proof also it's transfer proof it has an 8 hour hydration and it has an intense matte color so i told you which one i'm using in the start it's this one and it comes in eight shades i'll show you three or four right now this is 03 benedict magenta okay so this opens like that and it you know it looks like that it's so great i honestly love the packaging it's so good so the next one is 07 beaded red this o8 chocolate truffle You can use my code for seen twenty twenty two for a twenty percent off on Mama Earth. These lipsticks are available on Amazon, Nykaa, Purple, and the Mama Earth official website. Also, Mama Earth app. You can go and download Mama Earth app. It will really give you a lot of discounts, which do not come on the website as early. Every time you buy from there, they link your order to a website. For which they plant a tree, and they'll also send you the details of the tree. All the links to everything will be in my description. You can go check it out, and let's get into the video. I'm feeling really hot. I can't even switch on the fan because, like, if I do, तो बहुत आवाज़ करता है, and then मेरा वीडियो अच्छा नहीं बनेगा. Anyway, so let's start. I think we're gonna go start from periods, right? So yeah. Is periods as painful for you? Yes. Periods is honestly one of the most painful things for me. I uh, I know I I never talked. I did not talk about this actually. Not even in my exam vlog. So I had an IT exam, a prelim. Okay, it was by like apparently those marks accounted for boards. I literally didn't know. My teacher told me, and you know those they have to go to the boards and everything. But what happened was. Before the paper started, like they gave us the paper to read, and you know we just the reading time was like twenty minutes, I think. Yeah, so we were just reading the paper, and while reading the paper, I had stomach ache. Even before reading the paper, I had stomach ache, but then I just ignored it because I knew I was on my period. But like I ignored it, and I was just like, you know, never mind, I'll be fine because I always ignore it, and it just usually gets fine in around. 15 to 20 minutes when i ignored it and i ignored it i ignored it i ignored it and it had been like 20 minutes since i'd been ignoring it and it did not get better it kept getting worse first i did not realize that it was getting worse so that was very hard for me and later when i was actually i just opened my paper and my stomach started to hurt like a bitch not even getting it hurt it it started to hurt like a bitch and i told my so and we had like two sores in our class okay So you know, in some school, the mindset of sir is a little old, and you know they don't talk about periods and stuff so openly. So I told my sir, sir, that sir, my uh, head is paining a little. I had a little bit of headache, and there's this thing with my throat going on. I'm not telling about that, but like there was this throat pain I had, but I just ignored it also. So yeah, I told my sir about this headache, and I have stomach ache, and I don't know what to do. And he's like, okay, wait. So um, with us. Our coordinator had recently got the vice principal's uh, this thing, 
like position so she came like because she's already very close to us because she was a co our coordinator for a very long time so she knew us better than any other teacher so she came and she knew me because well i'm the most naughty girl in the school and you know sari masti mai galti kind of thing anyway so she knew me and the so like texted her or like called her i don't know so somehow she just came and she asked me what happened and i was like ma'am i'm having severe stomach ache and i was literally crying okay i was not i'm not even kidding i was crying so bad and i was like ma'am i'm having stomach ache and it's not stopping up and ignoring it for some time and i don't know what to do and she was like okay fine go to get up let's go to the sick bay and you can give your paper there so i went to the sick bay and honestly i like the fact that my school was very caring about this uh, situation and they handled it very very well then my sick bay my sick bay gayi and sick bay mein there's this nurse okay and she asked me what happened and i was like i don't know the same thing ki ye ho raha and then she was like uh, okay you can give your paper here my uh, like the vice principal also said the same that you can give your paper here and if you have any issues or anything the nurse will call me and i was like okay fine i gave my paper and like it's to i did not know a lot about in my paper because my computer is so bad and then i just gave my paper and somehow after that i i told my teacher that mom my stomach is paining and i just i not tell her that my paper is over but and then she thought i'm just telling my paper i'm just saying my paper is over because i do not want to write anymore so yeah and then i told her that you know my some paper is over and also they gave me a cup of coffee like hot coffee it was really good honestly <laughs> anyways that happened and then i told my teacher that my stomach is paining and then they like told me if you finished your paper you can go home and they sent me home like 10 to 15 minutes early and i actually like the fact that they handled situation this well and yeah but to answer your question my period is very painful i give like a whole four minute explanation to that oh my god your first time having your periods story my first time having my period i used to live so basically i have shifted three flats first i had my own flat then we shifted to a rental flat and then we shifted to this flat so basically we were finding a new flat when we were living in our rental flat okay so that's the thing and when i was in my rental flat that's when i got my first period i was sitting acche se ha shanti se i was sitting and watching netflix bahut khush thi zindagi mein main aur fir suddenly i had stomach ache to stomach ache to matlab was very common for me because my eating habits was not very healthy to stomach ache was like har do din mein aata hai kind of situation then because some ache ko suddenly out of nowhere and my mom had called my mom called me and like she was outside in the hall i was in the room i was in her room so i was just sitting watching that like some stuff and she called me and i was like okay fine i'm coming and like i waited for a second i was just waiting for the scene to get over and then i paused it and then i got up and like i thought i dropped something i don't know i thought i dropped my phone or something and i just looked back and there was like blood i i was so shocked i got scared i had like i knew what period was because my mom always talked to me about stuff before i experienced it like she talked about periods before i experienced she talked about boyfriends before i had a boyfriend so like that's what happened and then i um uh, my mom told had already told me and i was like ma is this how period looks and she's like yes and i was like oh no i had to literally wash the bed sheet my garment my uh lower it was so annoying i honestly hate periods because of that i'm also on my period like right now <laughs> It's so funny, man. Anyways, so yeah, and then that's that's kind of the story. After you got your first time period, did you miss it or did it was it regular? After I got my period for the first time, my period was a little irregular, like not very irregular, but a little like you know, four five days ahead. So it's basically normal only. But ha, huh, that's how it used to come. Uh, now my period is on. Like very regular. I have this app on my phone. It's not promoted. It's called PD P dot D. I think it's Period Diary. Anyway, so they track your periods and they tell you when it's coming. And my period comes on the exact day day that they tell me it is gonna come. So they tell me like exactly twenty nine days later, and they're like your period is gonna period is gonna come on this day, and it comes on that day. What are periods and what do I do when I get my first period? I think a lot of girls out there don't know what periods are and you know how to deal with them, what to do with them. So I'm just gonna give you a little piece of advice. Periods are like menstrual cycle. I think you learn about it in your school. Uh, I know like a lot of schools do teach periods and they teach menstrual cycles and how it happens. So actually, I have it in my disturbs portion, so I can give you a little bit of explanation. Basically, what periods are is that the uterus is where the child is formed and grows. So okay? every month. when uh, the you know fertilization and stuff does not take place the zygote basically the zygote does not form zygote is a you know a mixture of the male and female gamete which we, which is the sperm and the ovaries it's not formed the inner lining of the uterus breaks down 
obviously now even if I scratch my skin off there'll be blood right that's what happens with the uterus when the inner lining of the uterus breaks down there's blood there's bleeding that's what comes out of your vagina and that is basically periods and it's a hush hush topic among a lot of elders and a lot of aunties and stuff but I feel it should be more normalized and it should there should not be stuff like you cannot go into the kitchen you cannot like in some pe in some religion there's stuff like you cannot meet your dad when you have your periods and I'm just like bruh what I mean how is anything related to your dad how is it how is it how is anything gonna change it anyway and when you get your first period you should first of all if it's stained go to the washroom uh clean it out okay you gotta clean it and after that you have to wear a tampon, a pad. I would suggest a pad for first time because a tampon can be sometimes hard to wear. It's not easy to wear a tampon. You really need to learn it. It took me like freaking 40 minutes, I think. Yeah. So anyways, uh, wear a pad, a pad. You have to just remove the back of it. It'll stick to your uh, garment. And then there are like two flaps which you have to open and it'll stick like that. Okay, that's how you wear a pad. And when you have a period, you should stay calm and just chill. Okay, it's no nothing bad. It's something very normal and yeah. How do you control your emotions during your periods? <laughs> I think this answer should be answered by my guy best friends or even my girl best friends actually they know what I go through. I don't. Honestly, my friend, like I was on call with a friend and then my other friend called me and I was like, I was already annoyed at the first one. So I was just like, I was annoyed and then she called me and then I was like, hello. And she was like, I'm bored. I'm like, I got so pissed at her and she didn't even do anything. I feel so bad for her generally. I was like, bro, I'm so sorry. Anyway, so that happened. And I don't control my emotions, honestly, but I try to. It's hard. It sometimes, get out, it sometimes gets out of control and it's generally, generally very, very hard. How do you deal with period pain at night? Period pain at night, I sleep. Zada or I, then I uh, usually wake up and, you know, eat something. I always keep chocolates around me when I have period pain. There's a chocolate on the bed. Yeah, here it is. I literally have chocolates always and I got these small Cadbury ke cakes out there. Have you tried tampons? I actually use tampons. I do not use any other stuff. So yeah. At what age did you get your first period? I was 13 or I think 13. I think I was 13 when I got my first period. How do you like comfort a girl on her periods on text or call? Comforting a girl on her periods can sometimes be very, very, very difficult. It can be very confusing and you know, sometimes guys do not know what to do. Even as a matter of fact, your girl best friend does not know what to do because every girl has a different kind of reaction to periods. Some girls are very calm and you know, some girls get irritated, some girls get angry. So everybody has a different reaction. Um, I would suggest if you don't know what your girl reacts to or if you don't know what is happening, just don't tell her to calm down that's like the first thing you do not do because if you tell her to calm down she'll literally punch you in the face i'm telling you experience it will you uh you should just talk to her nicely and you know it's okay if she sometimes uh, gets angry at you because trust me those hormones are not easy to handle when i say they're not easy they are not easy i'm telling you it takes me a long time to realize the fact that I shouted at somebody after on my periods. I even get pissed at my mom sometimes. They're like, they know that I'm on my period, so they just ignore it. I would say, jitta bhi wo daat rahi hai. Haan, manda, usko bhi kabhi kahi na kahi to control karna hai chahiye. But, agar jaha tak tum seh sakti ho, please seh lo. Because it is actually hard. I'm not saying, I'm not justifying the fact that she's shouting at you. But on the other hand, the hormones are very irresistible and you know, you cannot change anything on your periods. So it's very difficult for the girl. So yeah, just calm down, let her say what she's saying. And if she's talking about something, just agree with it, you know, go along with what she's doing and apologize if you feel it's your mistake. Yeah. Uh, PCOD, I, okay. I don't really remember the full form of PCOD, but what PCOD basically is, is that when your periods are not on time, it's not very healthy. It is actually a very unhealthy thing to happen. So you should really visit the doctor if you have PCOD. Would you prefer menstrual menstrual cups? I have never tried menstrual cups, so I have literally no clue how they feel or what you do. I have I I have never gotten one and I have never experienced one, so I don't know if I'll prefer one. So I think we're done with the period questions, and now we can come to the normal questions. Yeah, what do you do when you feel demotivated to do anything? What I do is, when I feel demotivated, if 
um so here's the thing i don't feel demotivated a lot sometimes recently especially if you i think a lot of you guys must have noticed that i've been posting regularly i have been being more active on youtube because i feel i realized that youtube is very important for me and it's important for me to be happy and that's why i that's when i feel demotivated i usually shoot <laughs> i know that's very weird to hear but i usually shoot and nowadays i have actually started to like to study i actually enjoy studying now so it's like that's shocking and yeah so when i'm demotivated if i if i'm not in the mood to do anything i read i scroll reels or you know just random shit a girl does or, or anybody does actually leaving my influencer and 10th grader side aside i would um sorry content creator anyways i would i don't know i have this habit of saying influencer i'm not an influencer i'm a content creator i don't know why i keep saying influencer i would either go down for a walk or if i have money i'll go out with my friends or i'll tell my mom to take me out somehow i just get out of the house or do stuff that i like i usually don't have my own room to myself i just watch tv watch my fire i think anything just do something you like Have you ever gotten back with an ex or become best friends with them? So like, I think you're asking if I have a an ex as my best friend. Yes, I do. Not my best friend, but like a really good friend. So I used to date this guy. I dated him for a very long time, and now, like, I broke up actually. <laughs> We're really good friends now. We didn't, we decided not to break the friendship because our friendship was actually pretty deep, and he knew a lot about me. And we still talk. We are very close. And he is like <laughs> a lot of people don't actually nobody on my youtube knows this uh, that i'm in a group of boys so like there are like three boys and me and now so yes i my ex is one of my very good friends now sometimes it's not the relationship it's the person like sometimes you don't need to be in the relationship to be with the person and sometimes being friends with the person is way better than being in a relationship with them and i if anybody tells me that i would really agree to the fact because i have gone through that your crushes plus what kind of guys you find attractive this is going to be a long discussion let's start with boys who give attention i genuinely genuinely love guys who give attention and it just attracts me a lot i feel guys who give attention are really nice and i'm not talking about fuck boys by the way i don't like fuck boys obviously but i wouldn't lie if i said i I mean, I would be lying if I said that I wouldn't catch feelings for a fuck boy if he gave attention to me. I'm not saying that I have. I've never experienced a fuck boy experience in my life. I honestly, I'm an like I'm a girl who loves attention. I know how many of you all are the same out there. Some people don't love as much attention, and some people are like you know just thora space. But I'm not saying I want twenty four seven attention. Like तुम सिर्फ मेरे से बात करो. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that I want enough attention so that I feel important. You talk to me, you communicate, you tell me what you feel, I tell you what I feel, you tell me where you are. You know, I feel there are a lot of people out there who are like, you should not tell your boyfriend where you are. You should just, you know, you should not because it's toxic. At some point, it can get toxic. Yeah, when you're asking for his permission, that is very toxic, honey. That is very toxic. But if you're telling him, that's respect for him because I feel. informing your boyfriend or the person you're with where you're going i'm not saying ask for their permission but like just inform that you know i'm going here with my friends it's just respect i feel it's just respect that you give them for being your partner and yeah oh my god i get distracted so easily man i have the attention span of a freaking puppy anyways uh, <laughs> so yeah plus i also like guys who are cuddly I don't know how many of you all know this. I'm a very cuddle kind of person, but not with girls. Weird, I know. Very weird. Same. I don't cuddle with any of my friends except for like a few. I think only uh, one or two girls. Or yeah, so like I just cuddle very regular, very rarely with a girl when I'm in the mood or something. But like with uh, with my boyfriend, I would really cuddle a lot. Anyways, <laughs> I cuddle a lot with the guy I like. Yeah, I'm a very touchy person if I like you, bro. I'm very touchy. I know that's weird, but I am. What are your thoughts about girls rape? So we're talking about girls rape in specific. We're not talking about guys rape here. Also, yeah, guys do get raped. For those of you who don't know, it's very bad, but they do get raped, and I actually feel bad for a guy as well because they don't deserve it. I know, do we? So yeah, my thoughts about girls rape. I am a total feminist. Hundred percent. Like, if you want to trigger me, you say something that is non-feminist. You say stuff like, 
oh my god girls do this oh my god guys do this and bro i will kick your ass right there i'm not saying that i'm the karen type of feminist but i am a feminist i i'm, I'm not saying that guys shouldn't get everything or girls should you know only girls should experience the benefits i'm not saying that both the genders should be equal even in the constitution even out there and it's normal so when a girl gets raped everybody makes a whole hour like a whole ass focus out of this like ruckus i don't know what you say like it, it's just a very huge deal but when a guy gets raped it is not even on the news bro i don't know why that's bad that's like really bad is fake it till you make it uh advice something you would give to a good friend okay this has two point of views long answer first point of view fake it till you make it fake it till you make it can be very nice advice for a few people i think Rihanna or somebody said it. I don't know. I'm not sure who said it, but like some celebrity said it. Um, and she says, "I like fake it till I make it." Something like that. She said. I don't remember. It was like an interview or something on the red carpet or something, and it went very viral. I've seen it on my reel at least like two three times. So some people that advice really really works, but on the other hand, you need to be expressing your feelings. The more you bottle up your feelings, there'll be a day where. I think you won't be ha- able to handle the feelings you're going through, so you should try it out. Everything I feel it should be like out there, so yeah, like two opinions, and you need to choose your own. Yeah. How would you deal with body shaming? I have been body shamed a lot from everybody, from my school friends to people online. I have been body shamed, and what I did to work, deal with it is I cried it out. I understood that I need to love myself. I start, started staying motivated towards my goal instead of listening to people who. bitch about me how do you control feelings for someone you can't you can't control feelings for anybody you cannot change it until until unless they do something that you don't like so yeah man i really like this lipstick i literally did not give any mark on my coffee mug and it did not even like smudge off yeah look how do you deal with the pressure to be or look a certain aesthetic I had that pressure under me for a very long time, and my friend was like, "You know, you should buy this to be this, and you know, you should look like this." And I was like, "No, why do I need to be a certain aesthetic?" I mean, some people do like being a certain aesthetic, but I was very confused, and I was like, "You know what? Fuck it, I'll be what I wanna." And then I started wearing whatever the hell I like. So I don't deal with that pressure. Cheers. <laughs> so yeah, that was the last question finally because I've been talking for like forty minutes. This I don't know how long this video is, but like I've been talking for like forty minutes straight. Thanks for watching. I love you guys so much. And also, uh, you can go check out my insights in the description. And I really want to get this video to one lakh views. It would be really, really, really great if you guys interact with this video and just help your girl out. Love you guys. Bye.